When Donald Trump tweets, the markets better watch out. I'm talking about the ongoing trade conflict, which is intensifying by the day, and on Twitter, thanks to the POTUS. No investor or expert has been able to make sense of Trump's approach. By the way, Trump says that talks with China are going in a very congenial manner. And in the same breath, or tweet in this case, Trump says that he is in no hurry to sign a trade agreement. He says tariffs are being paid by China directly to the U.S. Treasury. He did not stop there. He says tariffs will make the U.S. stronger. <coughs> I'm sorry. Donald Trump has turned this into a political issue. Look at what he's been saying. Donald Trump slammed the Obama administration, calling it the administration of Sleepy Joe, which let China get away with murder. And then, randomly, Trump singled out Bernie Sanders for criticism. It is absolutely unclear why he had to attack Bernie Sanders over China, but that's Donald Trump for you. Global financial markets bore the brunt of this tweeting portus. Dow, Dow Jones, Nasdaq, S&P 500 all opened in the red with losses of over a percentage today. So here's how things stand. The U.S. has increased tariffs on $200 billion worth of Chinese products from 10% to 25%. China's foreign ministry has threatened to retaliate. China's vice premier, who is in the U.S. to attend the trade talk, says a tariff regime is not good for America, not good for China, not good for the global economy. Fitan 走向合作的这个唯一的结果 So what happens next? A White House statement says that the U.S. Trade Representative and Treasury Secretary will meet with the Chinese Vice Premier. The talks will aim at a trade deal. But funnily, President Trump said that he will not allow China to redo a deal. So we're not quite sure what he wants from China. Trump is busy gloating over tariffs. But a look at U.S. market shows that a trade deal could be catastrophic for everyone involved. Since Trump began his Twitter tirade over the weekend, Dow Jones has lost more than 650 points. S&P 500 is down over 2.5%. And let me tell you why these numbers matter. Investors have pulled out over $20 billion, $20 billion from markets just this week alone. In a globalized world, the U.S. cannot take a protectionist stance and expect markets to not react. So who will it hurt more? Who will be hurt more by the trade war? The U.S. or China? Gone are the days when the U.S. was in insulated from pains in the global economy. Globalization is the new norm. If a protracted trade war does, not, does indeed take place, it will destroy the supply chains and markets. The China of today is not the China of the 1980s. If China's exports to the U.S., fall after such a trade war, its import of components will also fall. And that will cause a major damage, not just to China and the US, but other economies which sell components to China. It will affect everyone. Read Japan, Korea, Taiwan, Singapore and the like. Asia and European countries like France, Germany and Britain will be severely hurt. Trump often says that a trade dispute will help bring jobs to the US. China doesn't buy much from the U.S., so if China imposes tariffs on the U.S., it will not cause a major impact, but the devil is in the detail. Many of the products over which Donald Trump has hiked tariffs are linked to supply chains of crucial companies in America. So the result, earnings of these companies which prop up the U.S. market, and that would hurt the business sentiment in the U.S. All of this will be affected. Besides, the U.S. could not find an alternative for the supply chain disruption. It's the U.S. economy. That will come under fire. A trade war means that the U.S. is imposing export tariffs on its own exporting industries. A self-goal. A trade war may prove disastrous for China, for America and for the world, including countries in Asia and Europe. The global economy is slowly recovering from the lows of the global financial crisis of 2008. A trade war 
would be similar to shooting the economy on its foot and asking it to run a marathon.